what is up guys i hope you guys are doing amazing it's been a long time no see i haven't done a sit down video like this in quite a while and god has really been stirring some new messages in my heart and i know in a lot of my past videos recently i've promised you guys that i was going to make some sit down videos just about different topics that god has put on my heart and this is really like the the substance of my channel and like the heartbeat of my channel and what I want it to be about. I really want you guys to be able to watch my videos and walk away with something useful for life and something that's life giving and something that directs you back to Jesus and makes your life even more fruitful than it was before. So I'm really excited to make this video. It was kind of spontaneous, but this is something that God has been talking to me about for pretty much my whole life, but very recently he has placed this message on my heart and um, it's just the topic of what does it look like to renew your mind. And I just really wanna to talk to you guys about the importance of filling your mind with things that are good and things that are of God and not making any way for the world to have any sort of influence on you. And I just really feel that the Lord is drawing the church and drawing his people into a place of zero tolerance, zero tolerance policy for the things of the world and for things that are not of God, where we grow so accustomed to things of heaven and things of the supernatural and things of God that anything else becomes dissatisfying to us and um, something that we no longer crave or no longer desire anymore. And I know that in my life, because of uh, certain boundaries that I've set up and just walking with the spirit, I have experienced so much more fruit in my life and in my own walk with God. And I, I feel so much closer to him. I am able to receive from him and from other people easier. I have a clear head. I don't deal with anxiety or depression or um, tormenting thoughts because I've made a zero tolerance policy, policy for it. And we've all get, been given so much authority. And I think a lot of us aren't fully tapping into it and aren't fully tapping into all that Jesus paid a price for on the cross. And so in the Bible, it says that we've been co-crucified with Christ, that when Jesus Christ died on the cross, he didn't just die for us and for our sins, but he died as us. And so you who are watching me, Brie and Ehrman, I died on the cross with Jesus. And therefore I'm no longer that old sinful creation, but I've become completely new and completely righteous in Christ. And so we are new creations through Christ because of what Jesus did on the cross. And because of that, we can't be feeding ourselves and feeding our minds the same fuel and the same food that we're giving our old selves, we have to transition into what is actually going to be sustainable and nourishing for our new bodies as new creations. What does our new mind crave? What does our new body crave? What do our spirits crave? So it says in Romans 6, 6, for we know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin. And so we're to be no longer slaves to sin. We don't have to be slaves to sin. And I find that it's so helpful and so vital for us to come to that realization of who we are now in Christ and align our lives and align our decisions of what we watch, what we listen to, what we feed ourselves, what we um, are thinking about and aligning that towards that reality of we are new creations and I'm no longer a slave to sin and so I'm not going to be feeding myself that old junk that I used to feed on but I'm gonna feed on this new manna that is from Christ and from Jesus. But Bill Johnson shared this illustration the other day and I thought it was so good. So what the illustration was, was if someone gave you a ring that was worth $10 million and if the person who gave it to you said, if you keep that ring on for the next 30 days, then I will give you $10 million at the end of the 30 days. And you could imagine how you'd be acting for the next 30 days. You'd be constantly aware of what was on your finger, of how valuable that thing was on your finger. When you're walking throughout the day, you'd probably be like holding your hand, like making sure it's not slipping off. As you're going to bed, you'd probably position your hand right, making sure that it doesn't slip off you probably would go to great lengths to just keep make sure that ring was on and you would be constantly aware of it and he compared that ring back to the Holy Spirit and if we were that conscious and that aware of the value of what lives inside of us through the Holy Spirit which is literally the manifest presence of God which is Jesus living inside of us then we would be much more careful about what we're filling our minds and our hearts with and we'd be much more picky about what we are watching, what we are listening to. And 
I don't think we realize how much of an effect that these things have on us. They seem like really simple decisions. Like, oh, everyone in my house watches the show. Everyone watches The Bachelor. Everyone watches Pretty Little Liars or whatever it may be. And this is not me bash bashing on The Bachelor. Uh, this is just me using an example. And I do really want to put out there that the Holy Spirit gives us each individual convictions. I personally, personally am very convicted against watching that show, but um, I can't tell you what's right or what's wrong, but I definitely encourage you guys to get alone with the Holy Spirit and ask him for very specifically, like, are you okay with me watching this? And something that's really helped me, it sounds super funny, but seriously, I just imagine myself, I'm like, what could I picture Jesus watching this with me? If, if Jesus was physically sitting next to me, would he be totally okay, totally, into this show that I was watching or what I feel convicted, what I feel really uncomfortable with the fact that he was sitting there. And if you did feel that way, that's a probably a clear sign that you probably shouldn't be watching that. And so at the beginning of this year, the Lord gave me a word for my year. And pretty much every year I get alone with God the on New Year's Eve and I ask him just about my, my future year, what it's gonna look like, what he wants me to put my focus on. And he gave me the word clean and I, at first I was like, what does that mean? Like, uh, I, I didn't really know what it meant, but he started speaking to me and he was like, Brian, I want you to really focus on limiting the distractions in your life and limiting the voices, the outer voices that are speaking to you so that you can hear my voice more clearly. And then immediately after he spoke that, he started giving me very specific things that he wanted me to focus on and to do. So he told me to get off of social media. I don't have to delete my accounts or anything, but just not to have the apps on my phone and to just block the websites on my phone um, and to not watch anything other than Christian YouTubers and to pretty much just stay off of YouTube as much as possible unless it's like a sermon or something. And then just being much more intentional about spending time with him every single morning. And we're, what are we? We're halfway through February and I have definitely failed in a lot of areas, but for the most part, I've really kept this true. And I have noticed a massive increase in my life in just fruitfulness. I've noticed that my thoughts have stilled down, that I'm no longer having like these chaotic, anxious thoughts. I feel much more focused just in life uh, and just have more of a refined focus on what's important. And I'm hearing God's voice more clearly. I'm feeling him more, not that we should live by feelings because we know that he's always there, but truly like I'm feeling him more. I'm just everything in my life. I'm just happier, have more joy. I have more peace. And I realized, wow, like this is all this fruit that I'm experiencing in my life is literally just from me limiting the distractions and limit, limiting the voice of the world and of the enemy and choosing to direct my focus towards the things of God. And I was like, wow, what if, what if I did this every day? What if I did this for the rest of my life? What, what if this became a habit? Guys, life is just so short. Life is so short. It says in the Bible that before we know it, this life is going to be over and it's just like chaff in the wind. It blows by us before we know it. And we don't have time to waste on stupid things, especially on things that cause us turmoil and anxious thoughts and depression and gets us focusing on things that are not important on our outer appearance or what other people think of us. And we just don't have time for that. We have been given so much. We have been given the Holy Spirit. We have been made completely new in Christ. And we have the opportunity every single day to absolutely transform the people and the lives around us and to walk with Jesus in every everyday life. I mean, how amazing is that? Because Jesus is always speaking to us. He is always speaking to us. And the only reason that you aren't hearing his voice is because you're allowing other things to speak into your life. And he's not going to speak louder or shout above those voices. So you must limit those voices and limit those influences to hear his voice more clearly. So I just really encourage you guys like tonight, what, after watching this video, turning it off, get alone with Jesus and just ask him. He knows your heart. He loves you. He wants what's best for you. And he wants your life to be so fun and so fruitful and so amazing. And so just go before him with no fear and knowing that all is available to you through him. And just say, Jesus, Jesus, what? what do i need to limit my life what should i change in my life what am i allowing in my life that is not good for me that's 
stunting my growth, that's stunting my ability to hear you and just let him speak over you and let him give you a word for the year. And I mean, we're literally just in February. It's not too late at all. Get, let him give you a word for your year and what to focus on. And just think about your life and what are you spending your time doing? What are you feeding your mind? What are you feeding your heart? And make changes because every day is a new day. His mercies are new every single morning. And even if you slip up, that's totally okay. I've slipped up so many times this year so far, but I just get back up and it's made me realize even more the importance of that word he spoke over me. So yeah, but I love you guys so much. Um, let me just pray over you guys really quick and then we'll end this video. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you so much, God. For this life that you've given us lord i just pray that we would never take it for granted lord you've given us so much you've literally given up everything for us to have relationship with us and i don't ever 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 want to take that for granted and i don't ever want to quench your spirit i don't ever want to walk walk anywhere that you're not god i want to be right next to you right where you are and so lord i say that i trust you and I rededicate my walk with you. I rededicate my life to you. And I say that I am walking with you. I'm in this with you. And so Lord, I just pray for everyone watching this, that there would just be an increased awareness of your presence in their lives, God. Lord, I just pray that anyone who has feels like there's a million voices shouting at them, Lord, that that would be silenced right now in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that your voice would be the only voice that they would let speak into their life, God. Lord, I pray that your voice would get louder and more prominent in their lives. And I pray that they would experience a new side of you, a new side of your goodness, of your love that they've never experienced before. I just pray that the power of God would fall on them right now in a whole new way. And I just pray and just speak blessings over their secret place lord that when they're spending time with you that they would feel you closer than they've ever felt you before and that the word would come alive to them in a new way and lord i say that we are pe a people who hunger and thirst after things of you god after things of righteousness and so lord i just pray that all the other sin all the other junk would just wash away that we'd have a zero tolerance policy for any of that stuff god and lord i just pray that you would bring to awareness for everyone who's watching this anything that is prohibiting their growth that's prohib prohibiting them to hear your voice clearly god and that you would give them the strength and the grace to extinguish that from their lives god so lord we just love you so much and just bless everyone's day amen so i love you guys so much i hope you guys have an amazing day if you guys like videos like this and you want me to do videos about more specific things I'm a very open, transparent person, so I'll literally talk about anything. So if you guys ever want to see a specific video from me, just comment it down below and I'll do it. And yeah, I just love you guys so much. I hope you have, have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos and you want to see more of them. And don't forget to like it as well. So I love you guys. God bless you.